Young Thug's case, Rico case, started today. Oh, yeah. As a matter of fact, that started today. And um, his lyrics are going to be used in court. His, did you see the judge rapping? The lyrics? judge was uh, not rapping his yeah, lyrics. Yeah, he wasn't rapping quoting his lyrics. Quoting his lyrics. Reading his lyrics, yeah. And I have no idea what any of that has to do with the case. This is what Jay-Z and a few other people were fighting for. Uh, Kevin Lyles and a few others was advocating for you not to be able to use lyrics because he got he said F the judge. Yeah. <laughs> he, Police like, come, I'ma let that thing ring. Yeah, he's going off. And if you are someone who is not familiar with the culture mm -hmm. and our nuances, how we speak and things of that nature, and that hip hop or rap music is yeah. all make believe. Yeah. It, it it lends to do you literally think I meant that? Or? Yeah. Yo, Future has a lyric that said, "I'm a lie to the judge." Like, I, I'm, no, I'm a lie under oath. Like, yeah. <laughs> imagine them reading that in court. You just like, yo, exactly. <laughs> it just so, rhymed. It was cool. So, so I've never heard of this before. Reading this to potential jurors, and that's that's not fair either, bro. Like, so this on. is a railroad case. Uh, what's this judge's intentions? Uh, you know what I mean? Because if, if I'm sitting there, you know, and let's say I had all them gangster lyrics, I'm done. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it might be some little white lady in the court yeah. saying, well, he did say he would kill. Yeah. And they're already preconception notions of what rap music is and, and this and that. And I had a, uh, I, I had a conversation with wifey and I said, this is going to be a tough conversation for people to have. But rap music destroyed black culture. Ooh. Not hip hop. Not, listen to what I'm saying. Not the love for hip hop and the love for I like creativity. that I can lean back now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you I, can like, lean, I can lean back now. <laughs> right? So I want to be clear. What mm. rap culture has become, just think about rap. Just think about the world of music before hip hop. That is a tough. That's all the love songs, all of you know, what I'm saying the music and love and Izzy Brothers and Al Green and uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, yeah. And we were speaking about a revolution and love, and then rap came in or hip hop came in, and it was a little bit more revolutionary mm -hmm. in the sense because it was needed. But once the real estate agents got a hold of it, yeah. And understood its true principles. Yeah, because I yeah. Just think about from the time they really grab a hole to now, it has been very, very destructive. And that's gonna rub people the wrong way because it fed a lot of people. And that's and but I I, I can I can agree because there's certain parts about quote unquote the culture that we hold dear that I can't stand. Like why is it okay for us to be fighting at restaurants and people to go, well, that's what you, why? You right. know what I'm saying? And like certain parts of that culture, like I really hate even, that we hold, like uphold. You know what I'm saying? Even the violence, the destruction of the black woman, the family, yeah. all the things that we preach. And see, once, and I always say this, once money becomes the equalizer, and it justifies everything that we do, it's hard for me to tell somebody who's making $10 million that what you're doing is destructive. I might as well be, why, why, why I might as well be Charlie Brown? And I get it on the surface because they know that the money is going to get you to rationalize this process. Mm -hmm. And money will do that. Mm -hmm. The right amount of money go, yeah, well, you know, uh, I think it's a, a good deal. So... But when we look back on this time period yeah. of destruction, we were the vanguards of it. And then once the train was on the track, it became self-perpetuating. And you're talking to somebody who loves hip-hop culture. You know what I mean? And I'm, and I'm not even talking about one or two guys who, who rapping about street content. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those who hold control of the narrative connected to the prison system, connected to our sisters not seeing themselves as anything but twerkers, connected to our brothers, connected to death and violence. What other phenomenon came about that really fostered that mm. at such a magnitude and that's, such a rate? Now that is tough to actually, that's a hard pill to swallow, I'm not gonna lie. No, I'm on my green shit.
Yeah, that's don't it. look so sad. I know it's over, <laughs> but life goes on. Yeah, that's tough. And this world keeps on turning. Yang, 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 yang. There you go. Let's just be glad we had this time to spend together. Okay, now thank you. <laughs> You are tuned into the sound. That's my fake outlet. Of Urban X. Black mass, man. It's time to rock. I had to find a way I couldn't find it. Hey, what's job. up? If you like what you just saw and you want to see the full, uncut, raw, uncensored podcast, hit the link below. It's only $5 a month or $50 for the entire year. Get all of the content. Get Black Diet in its rawest form. Get a bunch of exclusive content. Yes. Never before seen by anybody else. And you can only... Be a member to see it. Become a member now. Click the link below. Peace. Peace.